Hi guys and welcome down to this brand new series of tutorials brought to you by Coastogen and Wolf Raging 95. Today we're going to go over some basics of the menu before we even start to even think about building a roller coaster in No Limits 2. So this is what you're uh, shown when you first log on. You have the play mode where you can select any coaster that you've made and go straight into the simulation. You have the editor mode which loads you into the editor. You then have setup. <coughs> Excuse me. And in here you can see all the key bindings, your sensitivity, vibration effects if you're using a controller, that kind of thing. Sound, generic software, environmental audio effects, and this is where you can control the sound of the game. I have mine down at the moment because I'm recording this tutorial. Display. Now, this actually really depends on your computer how you run the uh, the game so I have a pretty good high-end computer now I'm running a Ryzen 2700X with a GTX 1060 6 gigabytes uh, graphics card so not too shabby um, I have everything on full but I still play in window mode and I use vertical sync what vertical sync does if you tick that box it syncs the frame rate to your refresh rate so if your refresh rate on your monitor is 60 hertz, then your refresh rate in the game will say it's 60 frames. Being so, if the graphics card can keep up with your refresh rate, if you have a lower refresh rate on your monitor, like 50, then it will stay at 50 frames per second. Anti-aliasing. This sharpens any objects in the game. Font smoothing, that's completely up to you. And you keep the GUI scaling automatic. Details, again, depends on your computer. LOD distance is how far away an object can be, but be loaded as well. Texture quality speaks for itself. Texture resolution, same thing. Real-time shadows. I recommend if you have a low-end computer to pull the shadows down to off, or even to one. That way, your game will run a lot smoother, and the performance will be more beneficial to you. But like I said, I have a Ryzen CPU, so I can run pretty much on max. <clears throat> Bloom effect is ticked off because I just don't like it to be honest with you. I put it on when I want to put it on. This is others, this is where you can change your units to Imperial or Metric. Day and night cycle, this is how you uh, change the length of the day. So I have mine to 900 minutes because when I record, I record a lot of cinematic shots. And doing this, obviously, the time in the simulation changes. So if I set it to a high minute rate on the day-night cycle, it will stay practically the same time with inside the simulation. Video export. We will go over this in another tutorial, but here's a quick, quick look at how I export my videos for CoasterGen. At the moment, we're at 1440p, which is 4K at 2K, 60 frames per second, and I export AVI RAW. That's the folder it goes to best level of detail and we don't use motion blur. Picture export. So this is the picture export and what this menu tells you is how your poster will come out. If you press uh, L I believe on the keyboard you will take a screenshot high detailed and this determines on how high detailed you would like it to be. So the size multiplier will actually increase the size of the screenshot. We keep ours at four typically because we use social media with our screenshots and Facebook and Twitter, Instagram and YouTube like to have it around three or four. So we keep it at four at the max. Post the screenshot quality level is at two because again, the size of the uh, file itself is quite large and Facebook doesn't like large pictures. And we use a lot of Facebook obviously because that's our outlet. And, and there we go guys, pretty much that is, you know, help tells you how you can do things. No Limits have some tutorials in there if you didn't know that, but they do have them. References, this is how you can find different things. And the news tells you from all what's happened currently in all the updates. Scripting, this, we'll, we'll go into this uh, into more depth in another tutorial. Probably, probably one of the last ones that we will do, but stay tuned guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial number two, where me, Coaster Gen Luke, and Wolf Ridge 95 actually create a coaster and show you the ways around the editor. So that's it pretty much for the menu tutorial. 
if you do have any questions that we haven't covered in this for whatever reason comment down below messages on our social media you can contact us any way you want just find us coast channel wolf rage united five we're all over the place you can find us make sure you subscribe to the channels and make sure you join our discord servers because everybody's great and we have a fantastic community but for now i've been coast gen luke he's been wolf rage united five and we'll see you in the next tutorial